Temperatures have been dropping all evening long, and the wind chills mm. are about to get worse. Michael Fish has the forecast for tonight and your work week ahead. Fish. Yeah, it just keeps getting colder out, you guys. Now, normally I don't like to use this graphic because normally it's not this extreme. Sometimes you'll have a 24 hour temperature change of like 15 degrees, but look at this. You know, if you haven't been out since this morning, it's a lot different. And if you haven't been out since yesterday, oh boy, look at this. Sheboygan almost 40 degrees colder than it was just 24 hours ago. Same with Fond du Lac and West Bend, 33 degrees colder in Milwaukee. Either way you cut it, this is a drastic change. You don't see 24 hour temperature changes like this very often. So big changes when you walk outside in the mo uh, morning. Boy, are you going to notice the difference? It's going to be really cold. Not only that, we're going to have that wind chill going. Wind chill advisories running right now through noon on Monday. We're going to wake up to wind chills between 10 and 25 below. That'll get your attention when you step outside. Now, averages, it would be nice to even just make it to the average low for the next couple of days, but that's not going to be the case. Look at the record. We are not going to get that cold. This isn't even close to a record. That negative 21 set back in 1880. Now, the thing was, is our high temperature was in the 40s, like towards midnight, and then temperatures fell and fell and fell after that front rolled on through. Then we have single digits behind the front to around 10 degrees for tomorrow. You're definitely going to notice the difference, even though we will start off with a little bit of sunshine in the morning before the clouds work their way right back on in. Below zero readings are already on the map. It's one below Beaver Dam and Watertown. These aren't even the wind chills. It's one in West Bend and eight in Milwaukee. Let's factor in the wind. Then it feels even colder. Feels like 18 below in Fond du Lac, 16 below in Burlington, nine below in Milwaukee. Either way you cut it. Remember, at this time last night, it was 40 degrees in some spots. So a drastic change. Get ready for that when you step outside tomorrow. There's a front. Real easy to see. This little band of clouds and a couple little snow showers working their way through Chicago. We are dry. We've cleared out the skies clear for now, but here comes another low pressure. There it is right there. It's going to come tracking on through as we head into the early evening hours tomorrow night. More snow, cold than snow, insult, injury. So here's a look at what tomorrow looks like around here. We're fine to start the day, but here comes that low pressure. There's a little swath of light snow that's going to come tracking on through the state, affecting us as we head in again into the early evening hours and then it lets off by midnight. So it's not a uh, long duration event, nor will it be heavy. I'll get to accumulation in a second here. Let's take a look at future forecast. Cold tonight. Get ready for those double digit below zero wind chills by the time you wake up in the morning. And then as the day goes on, here we go. As we head into the early evening hours, this little swath of light snow going to be rolling its way on through. Now it's not going to add up to much. Let's take a look at our future snowfall accumulator and see how it's going to add up. There's the band starting to roll on through as we head through the early evening hours. One to maybe two inches. Very light and fluffy, so it's going to be really easy to move around. But the problem is when it's this cold, salt doesn't work that quickly. Keep that in mind. Tonight, two below in Milwaukee and by the lake. If you uh, live towards Waukesha and Inland, eight below for a low. Tomorrow, 10 degrees. That's it. Waukesha and Inland, six. Wind chills between five to 20 below, the coldest in the morning. So get ready for a shock to the system when you step outside tomorrow morning. If you do tomorrow night, four degrees light snow in the early evening. Then it tapers off later on in the evening, one to up to two inches. So not a big snowmaker in Tuesday, cold, breezy, maybe a flurry in 13 degrees. Hold on. I am not done with the snow. It's going to snow late on New Year's Eve going into the new year. Looks like one to two inches overnight. Current indications one to three inches, maybe even a little bit more as we head through New Year's Day. Just keep that in mind. I want you to just know that more snow is All on right. the way. Yes, Colin, Colin, though, is like, bring on the snow, bring on the cold. I'm bundled up in my bring Packers the, gear uh, yeah, and bring on the playoffs and the Niners. The 49ers. Yep, bring it all on. That's <laughs> yeah. what Colin says.